So today we're going to be talking about something a little bit different, something a little bit odd, something a little bit odd to say at least. I want to talk about why people hate your Tesla or why people hate Tesla in general. Now it could be a really broad topic, it could be a really extensive conversation. So a lot of this stuff is just going to be my experience. Some of the things that I've come through since we've had our Tesla, and we have a Tesla Model Y, we've had her a little over a year. Really enjoy the experience, love everything about the car, but there are some things that I've noticed. People look at you a little bit differently when you're driving in Tesla versus other vehicles that we've had. So sit back, relax, you're watching The Tall Tesla Guy. So Tesla Model Y, it's a completely electric vehicle. Now you guys probably know that if you've been talking about Tesla or thinking about Tesla for a while, that there's no engine in it at all. So being an electric vehicle or a totally electric vehicle, it's a complete deviation from anything that you're used to. Certainly I was used to. With gas vehicles, you have gas stations in every corner and it's everything you're kind of used to. Everything kind of society is used to, people are used to. Electric vehicles are the new, they're the, they're the new misunderstood thing. Right? And a lot of times people are afraid of what they don't understand. But with Teslas, with electric vehicles in general, there's nothing common about them, that's for sure. Tesla is the fastest vehicle, fastest production vehicle on earth. The Tesla Model S can give you a sub, Model S Plaid anyway, sub two second, sub one second, zero to 60, which is rocket fast. That's faster than any other car out there. And this is an electric vehicle. People have this preconceived notion about electric vehicles being small, being slow, being slow to charge, having you know 50 miles of range. Well, Tesla kind of broke the norm on that right from the beginning. The Tesla Model Y, the one that we have even, 320 miles of range, probably closer to 300 when you start driving it. Similarly, the Model S gets almost 400 miles of range. The Model X gets about 350, and the Model, y, or the Model 3 gets about 340. 340 miles of range is comparable, in fact, better than a lot of gas vehicles that are similar in size, shape, space, all that kind of stuff. So right out of the gate, Tesla is going to be above and beyond on that. The second thing that people are concerned about with, with electric vehicles is charging. Well, the first thing that Tesla did with their production of their vehicles is really work on their charging infrastructure. We have a lot of... Uh, news articles and media hype around other companies like GM and Chevy and Volkswagen with their ID4 and um, Mercedes and Porsche coming out with electric vehicles, hybrid electric vehicles. And the one thing that they don't have that Tesla does is a charging network. Using Electrify America, you know, using PlugShare, you're just not going to have the speed that you get with the supercharger network that Tesla has. Now, that's what Tesla did in the beginning before even coming to production of a lot of their vehicles as they started producing the superchargers. The supercharger network that Tesla have is so extensive, at least in the United States and in many other countries around the world, that it's really anywhere you want to be, anywhere you want to drive. You have a charger, but you can also use other charging networks like Electrify America and PlugShare. You can charge it at your home with a 240 outlet. Now, I know you could do that with any other EV, now, EV that you buy. However, other EVs currently can't use the Tesla supercharging network. So you're not gonna get those fast charging speeds. You're not gonna get that you know, charging from 10 to 80% in 15, 20 minutes that you can get with a Tesla, with a Tesla supercharger. And they're coming out with V3 and V4 chargers. They're gonna be charging even faster. Almost as fast as what you'd get at a gas station if you were to get gas run in, grab yourself a pop and leave. So that's one of the things that Tesla did right from the beginning. And that's one of the things that causes angst with people when they're looking at Tesla as kind of an elitist sort of vehicle. You know, GM talks about taking them down. Volkswagen talks about taking them down. They're gonna come up with this new EV and in reality, nobody's gonna care because there's nothing exciting about it. It may look neat, may look a little bit different, but it's gonna charge slow. It's not gonna have the range that Tesla has and the majority of them won't have the speed. The Mustang Mach-E, you know, GT was probably the closest to getting what you'd get on a Model 3 performance, but nowhere near what you get with Model S, at least the Model S Plaid. So that's one thing that kind of makes them stand out a little bit and kind of makes people turn their heads a little bit on them. And then there's the culture around Teslas. Tesla has this following that's extensive, myself included. That shouldn't be a surprise to any of you guys. I call myself the tall Tesla guy for crying out loud. So Tesla has this really extensive following that you just don't see with any other cars. People love cars in general. Some people love Chevy, some people love Ford. But with Tesla, when you are a Tesla fan, people love Elon, they love the company, they love the direction of it. Starlink, um, SpaceX, the boring company, 
Everything that Tesla does is neat, forward thinking and futuristic. And a lot of people like and get excited about that kind of thing, like getting excited about new technology stuff. I mean, little things that you get with Teslas that you don't have in any other car. Like for example, people sleep in their car. In fact, I made a video a few months back talking about whether or not I would actually fit in my car to sleep in it, my Tesla Model Y at 6.5. Spoiler alert, I fit in it fine. And you can get a inflatable mattress that fits in the back of it. In fact, my friends over at the EV shop even sent me privacy shades that cover every single window in the car. There's a link down in the description below to save you a little bit of money on them, but just as kind of like a, a teaser for them, these privacy shades block out every single window except for the panoramic roof so you can watch the stars while you sleep in your car. Well, that's an odd thing to think about. It's an odd thing to advertise, an odd thing to say is that you can sleep in your Tesla. Well, I know you can fold the seats down in other cars too, but they just don't have that sort of excitement. There's campfire mode in the Tesla. It'll actually turn a fireplace on, play, but little things like that, it's a technology company that builds a car. So this infotainment screen you have in the middle, you throw on that campfire, you put, inflate your mattress in the back, throw up your, your window shades and sit back and relax. I mean, it's one of those things that you just don't get with any other car. Everything is built around this infotainment screen. And that's probably another thing that people look at and they think it's, it's odd, different, weird. There's no heads up display. There's no bifurcated dash in a Tesla. Really everything is on the screen, at least in the Y and the three. Everything is on the screen. The speed that you're driving, the gear that you're in, uh, you know, the mapping navigation system is in there. Uh, everything from YouTube videos when you're parked or charging at a supercharger station. You can watch Hulu and Disney Plus, all that kind of stuff. There's even games you can play with controllers and everything, the whole nine yards. That's stuff that you just don't get in any other EV. So not only if you were to buy, say, an ID4, you're charging at Electrify America, you're gonna spend a longer amount of time charging but you're also not gonna be able to play games while you're doing it. Little things like that just kind of add up and make you think about it. And then you kind of compile or add on the driving experience. The driving experience with a Tesla is unlike anything I've ever experienced in any vehicle I've ever been in. It's just such a lightning fast takeoff. As soon as you push that accelerator and you go, and it's that feeling that you get that, that just kind of creates this desire to drive your car. I really enjoy driving again, and that's something that I lost over the years. When you get in that daily commute and that daily grind, you just kind of lose that excitement. Well, Tesla kind of brought it all back, at least for me. And I know a lot of people feel the same way. A friend of mine joked the other day saying, I wonder if my car misses me like I miss it. His car is actually in the shop, but it made me think about it like, yeah, I absolutely do. It's not that I dream about it every night. That would be weird. But I can say that if I'm driving other cars, like if I take a trip or something like that and I don't have it, I definitely don't appreciate any other vehicle as much as I do my Tesla. So that's one of those things that builds this level of excitement for the car. And then it just creates this drive to kind of talk about it. And that could be another reason why people don't like, um, like Tesla people. But who knows? Maybe they're jealous. Maybe they don't understand it. Maybe they haven't had the opportunity to try it. One thing I would suggest to everybody is jump out there, take it for a test drive, borrow your friends if you have one, take it, uh, you know, rent one on Turo or something like that. We did it with the Model X a few months back. It just uh, experience it for yourself and then see what you think about it. It might change your opinion, it might change your mind a little bit, but either way, you know, it's one more thing to put a smile on your face and I hope you guys are taking the opportunity to put a smile on your face. Whatever you can do just to kind of bring a little bit of light in your day is something that might just change your mood, change the day, change your, change your attitude about stuff. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, week, month so far. I can't thank you enough for sitting back watching these videos, kind of tuning into this kind of stuff. Um, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate the feedback, the comments. Let me know if there's something I missed, something I missed down at the bottom or if it's all just kind of, kind of thought stuff. But um, either way, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and you stay safe out there. Thanks a lot, everybody.